Hey everyone, this is Pete. Welcome back to New Game Plus and our Nightmare Mode playthrough of Project Zero. Last time, uh, you will recall, we had a bit of trouble uh, getting a couple of ghosts along the way. But we're going to continue on our <laughs> excruciatingly slow progress through Chapter 2 here and see how many more ghosts we can capture on the way to uh, progressing the story a bit further. So for those who are just joining us with this episode, um, Nightmare Mode is the harder difficulty that unlocks after you've played the game once, so I'm not really prioritising the, the story or anything in this run through. Uh, the main objective is to try and get as many of the ghosts on the ghost list as possible. So in my first run through I got about 80% of them. Uh, it went out to 86%, which is 93 out of, out of the available 108. So, uh, currently we're around uh, this kind of region of the ghost list. So, Crucified Man was the last ghost in Chapter 1. Um, child on Porch, Kid Running Away, these were two that we got in this chapter. Hanged Woman is one we also got in this chapter a little bit later. So I think there's going to be at least two more uh, in the pathway that we're on at the moment. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for those. So, let's continue on our way. There's a hidden one here that we, we got a couple of times uh, in the previous episode, but actually on the time that we finally caught the one who was giving us a bit of trouble at the end of the episode, um... We didn't go and collect him, so just go and grab him now. So for the unfamiliar, in Project Zero, there's uh, several different types of ghosts. There are hostile ones, which are the ones you have to fight uh, using the camera obscura. Uh, there are uh, ones that sort of move around and run away and sort of almost act like cutscenes. Um, and there are hidden ones, like the one we just saw. So this one is a hostile one. Oh, missed. And the thing with nightmare mode is that all the ghosts do a very lot of damage. Right. We are safe for now. So that was an example of a hostile ghost. So they show up either at predefined times like that one. Normally the first time they show up, they'll have a little cutscene and you'll have your first fight with them. Uh, and then after that they will start showing up uh, more randomly if you spend too long in a single location uh, you will find yourself having to fight them off again uh, then there's this type of ghost here which I'm not sure if there's a specific name for but I, I call them talisman ghosts so what happens with these is uh, you take a picture of a talisman that is sealing a door shut and it will show you a picture of somewhere else which you then need to go and take a picture of in order to break the seal that talisman is holding on that door. So that one there is showing underneath a staircase somewhere. Now, it's not this staircase, I don't think, although I can hear... Oh, hello, there it is. It is this staircase. There we go. So you take a photograph of that. That breaks the talisman. And there you go. 
then there's the hidden ones, uh, which I showed you at the start. But the, the most troublesome ones by far are the ones who only show up for a few seconds. Almost like... Uh, almost like cutscenes, like I say, because they, they show sort of the last movements of the inhabitants of the house. Like that. We got him first time. Which is good. Uh, let's just check our ghost list. I think, if I remember correctly, that means that there's one more that we're missing. Yeah, there's probably going to be another kid running away at some point. So, let's keep an eye out for that. There's often a f ghost fight in this room because it's a really awkwardly shaped room that they absolutely love flinging annoying fights at you in. So, let's just buff back up. Take it slowly. No, right, we're all good. Oh, okay. Right, do we keep the stuff in our file from last time around? That is the question we do. So, 2611, I think. So, the way these puzzles work, it starts at uh, zero at the top and then goes counterclockwise. So, this is one, two, two, three, four, five, six, one, one. There we go. Right, there's a save point out here. Let's make good use of that. So, in the previous episode, we saw a photograph that seemed to indicate that there was something we needed in or on this well. But of course, it's a creepy well that someone drowned in, because horror. Oh, we've gone. Oh no! Right, well. And there is a hidden ghost. Let's just 
save one more time. I'm saving as much as possible and in multiple slots on this run through. Just because in this attempt we've already missed some ghosts. I just want to try and minimize um, having to backtrack as much as possible. After we've cleared it, I mean. Because what I'd really like to do when we have finished the Nightmare Mode playthrough that we're doing here is have another go at the Mission Mode and see if we can S-rank at least a few of the missions along the way. Which is sort of the game's ultimate challenge, if you like. Just for the moment, I'm not worrying too much about uh, shutter chances and trying to score as many points as possible. Just because the camera is already fully powered up. Uh, I do need some points to unlock some of the special features yet, but I haven't actually unlocked um, the actual special features as such yet, so I can't spend the, the points on them. I don't think there's anything I can really spend points on at the moment. Let's have a look. We can buy some more bonus functions. Well, we might as well buy those now while well, we got the points for them. But uh, Paralyze is still by far the, the best special function that we've got. That completely freezes a ghost in its tracks for several seconds, which makes it very good for interrupting attacks. It's also good for scoring points as well. Anything in here? No one crucified from the ceiling this time. There's a ghost in that mirror, though. Why do we come here? Do we actually need to come here? Oh, we needed to come back here to get the thing off the well, didn't we, of course. But I think that's actually all we need from this area. So let's head back, just keeping a watchful eye out for any other ghosts on the way. Quick save, because why not? And then back the way we came. And there's a ghost. 
Alright, maybe not. There's a ghost. Who are you? Oh, you're blind. I don't like you, because you really hurt when you do that. Nice and quietly. Oh, fuck. Well, at least there's a stone mirror in here. There we go. It's like nothing happened. Okay. So, now what? Also, what are you looking at, Miku? So, I have a feeling we've sort of sequence broken slightly by me already having that document, but I don't think we can go in here yet. No. So, what have I skipped? Can't go through the secret door in there yet because we don't have a scroll to hang on the wall. Ghost coming. Come play. No. Oh. Nice hit. I'm pretty sure we still can't go out this way. Yeah, because that door's locked at the minute. Nothing we can do there yet. There is a puzzle with those candles later, but I can't remember if it's this chapter or one of the next ones. And there's this door in here. Which I believe we open with the carving from the well. But if that's the case, what do we do with the carving from the other place? Oh well. Um, okay, puzzle time. So... Um, no. Oh god. Um, right, let's put that there, and then that can go there, and that goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. Right, so that's a blue carving. There is a purple carving as well that goes somewhere. Let's just look at the map. So, this is the atrium. Can't go in the shrine there. That's the doll room. So there is a secret door into the kimono room. But we can't go that way yet. That's the stairway. Couldn't go through there. Could go there. That's the fish tank room. That's the back garden. 
Yes, there's nowhere else we could have used that carving yet, so it must be must be somewhere else. And that door's locked. Yeah. Oh well. I guess we'll figure it out. Now I believe sometimes I was lucky. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay, right, so we filled in the gap we had. That's good. So, observatory man we've seen, girl on the porch we've seen, man before door we haven't seen, but he'll be coming up shortly. Man before door we'll see in a moment. Girl pointing we should see shortly as well. Then there'll be one after girl pointing. So we should be safe for a little while. Ah, here's the other door. Here's where we need the other carving. Uh, so, let's put that one there, that one there, wait, no, um, yeah, uh, no, start again, um, so, that one needs to end up at the bottom, so that can go up there, and then we can move that one. Oh no! Right, um, let's try again. Oh my poor brain! Right, I'm going to put that one there. Move that one over. Then move that one up there. Then we can put that one down there. That one can then slide into the right place. That one can go there. And that one can go there. There we go. Done. I am smart. Right. This is the demon mouth, I believe. I'm down the ladder, Miku. Thank you. This is one of the sort of interesting bits of the game's design. So sort of this area here is really important um, to the overall story. And it sort of teases you, with the, teases you with it at this relatively early point. But you can't get in. But it's pretty obvious that that big door means business. Right, so that's man before door. Right, now we go all the way back again after taking a picture of this. Uh, 
And then the rest of this chapter involves fighting this ghost. No. Um, <laughs> trying to track down that mask, basically. Ow. Ow. So much pain. Oh god, I'm inside her. Not in a good way. Not that there's any good way to be inside a ghost, really, but, you know. Oh, dear. Right. Okay, so we go back to the burial room, and that's where the candle puzzle I mentioned earlier is. And from there, we get ourselves a key, and we continue on our merry way. Right, so in the room where that puzzle takes place, we should have a ghost of Kyrie, and that's girl pointing. And then we should have two more ghosts that we haven't seen before. Again, we should be reasonably safe, aside from hostile ghosts along the way. Let's, uh, oops, wrong button. Let's heal up and save. in the burial room. There's Kyrie. That's girl pointing. So we are now into... We need more ghost territory, I think. Right, so there's one before man in study. Yeah, you know what? We're doing pretty well. So it doesn't look like there's a whole lot more wandering ghosts we need to get. Which is very exciting. I do seem to be missing some hidden ones, say. Eh? Right, so we knew that already. I need to make only the red candles be lit. So I'm now going to embarrass myself with my mad puzzle skills. This is one of those puzzles. Where 
you change one and it uh, changes the to either side of it. So let's start again. So if we start here and do that one and that one and no. So again, start with that one and do that one and do that one and do that one. There we go. See, I am smart. There's the scroll. Hooray, and another ghost. Where are you? I paralyze you because you're horrible to fight. No! You did not like that. All right. We do have plenty of sacred water, so let's use one of those to drop a full replenishment. Um, so I'm pretty sure we still can't go out this way because it's locked from the other side rather than just locked. So by survival horror convention, that means you need to find another way round to the other side and then unlock it from that side. Right, so I think for today's episode we'll try and make it to wherever the next save point is and then we'll call that a day. Because um, these chapters get a bit longer after the first one, so... Yeah, not waiting for the shutter shots on her because that stunned you, if I remember rightly. Where's so so mm, that sound coming from? Over there. So now we hang this on the wall. And now we can use this secret door. Which brings us in. Oh no! Okay, so we now know that that kid is going to appear in the kimono room and run between the kimonos like an awkward little shit. So, at least we don't have too far to run.
deal with this unpleasant creature first. Uh oh. Don't hit me. That's hitting me. Right. So be prepared. And can we go? This way. Oh, that's going to be a nightmare. <sighs> and I thought the kid in the stairway was supposed to be the most difficult ghost in the game to catch, but this one's going to be a nightmare as well. Still. This uh, seems like a good final challenge for this episode. No! I thought I was being clever. Right, I'm pretty sure the ghost in this next room, we're going to have to catch it in that fraction of a second that it's between those two kimonos. Question is, how do we trigger that and make sure we're in... Oh, it doesn't auto aim either. Oh. Right. It's all going to be fine. It's going to be just fine. Right. Oh no, crawling kid ghost. Uh, scary. Alright, no damage that time.
Right, so a lot of the um, sort of wandering ghosts in this, they will auto-aim when you press the camera button. This one does not. So we need to take a couple of steps in one direction, face back in the correct direction, and have the camera ready. This is going to be difficult. So I'm going to take a step this way. Oh, the other annoying thing is she puts the bloody camera down when... Can we get him through there? That gives us a bit more time, certainly. Presumably he's heading for that door, so... All right, try again. Right, we got this this time. I'm feeling confident. We've devised the strategy. Now we just need to execute it. Oh no, a ghost! Uh... Right, easy enough to deal with. Little bastard on the other hand. Right, so instead of that gap on the left, on the right rather, I'm going to try and get him through the gap on the left, which is, I think, a narrower gap. But we've got a bit more time to respond. So we can just make sure we're lined up properly. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is literally a millisecond. But that is doable. That is doable. It's totally doable. Oh. This had better be worth it. <laughs> I know it will be, because, um, I mean, clearing Nightmare Mode by itself unlocks the chapter select. I think it might unlock a new costume as well. Um, not sure what that costume is, but we'll see. New costumes are always fun. Uh, and then getting the ghost list uh, gives you the basically the best lens upgrade for the camera. Which... Um, makes getting those high scores in mission mode all the more worthwhile and that's why we're doing this playthrough before even thinking about trying to s rank any of those missions i forget exactly what effect that really good lens has but it's um i know it's significant right come on this time this time's the one this time's the one we can catch him in that millisecond window So let's face the correct direction, get back against the wall. I don't think zooming out's gonna help because she puts the camera down when he appears. So we just need to inch over. 
Got him! Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. Right. I thought that was going to be a lot more of an ordeal than it ended up being. Oh my. Right. Can't do anything with these at the minute, I don't think. Nope. And this takes us back around to the area that we were in in uh, Chapter 1. So, barring any mishaps... Just going to take a quick peek at the ghost list. So, kid hiding. Next one is man in study. So, he's miles away. And then it's ages before we... Yeah, it's ages before we'll encounter any more. Okay. Anything to pick up in here? This is Closet of Doom, where we had so much fun a couple of episodes ago. Now bereft of anything, save for some powerful film. Right, that's not one we could have... Um, photographed because there's no stairs in here these stairs are outside so let's just have a rummage can't open that I see a sparkly thing down here yes I did oh, fair enough I'll go that way. That's where we just came from. And here we are back near the start. stone mirror now so it must be on top of healing no 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 I bring out the more powerful film while we're on so let's heal up and bring out the Bring out the Type 37 for now, that should be enough. It's one solid hit. Very good. Gotcha. Right. Whew. I'm a bit worried for a minute there.
Okay. Keep pressing the wrong button. It's not start for menu. Um, okay, let's go back to our shitty film. And let's go and save in the entrance way. And then I think I need a lie down. Oh, thank God. Right. That's uh, we're calling it a day there for today. <laughs> so, thank you for bearing with me through this uh, significant challenge. And as always, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please help out the channel by leaving a like or a comment and subscribing. Be sure to check out moegamer.net for new articles on Japanese and Japanese inspired video games new and old every weekday. Every month, Moe Gamer features an in-depth exploration of an individual game or series as its cover game, so be sure to check the archives to see if your favourite has had a deep dive yet. If you'd like to support the site directly, please consider becoming a patron or buying me a coffee. You can find links to do both down in the video description. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.